the new owner at the bridge. The American Todd Bowley is taking over at Chelsea after his 4.25 billion deal was given government approval. It's a definitely a, a new era for Chelsea and um, I think everybody should be really excited for it. How difficult has it been being run by the government? It's been rubbish. <laughs> it's hard, it's, like, you can't buy tickets. It's a very important day for Chelsea fans because it, 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 is, uh, it, it is a new chapter uh, in Chelsea's uh, history. Chelsea's future has been in government hands after the oligarch sanctions hit Roman Abramovich. The war in Ukraine started a battle of billionaires to buy the club and the group led by the LA Dodgers owner won it. Former player Paul Cannaville is known as King Canners to Chelsea fans. He has effectively been the king maker after meeting all the prospective buyers. What was special about Todd Bowley's bid? Todd gave me the respect. He had a flight to go out and back to America, but he waited on me to meet me in person. And that alone showed me what he, how, felt, how serious he felt. To people who haven't met Todd Bowley, what's he like? Calm, cool, collective. He wants the best. He regards this as a big club. I mean, everybody knows it is a big club. We're winners. Um, and that's what we're looking forward to. But Chelsea wasn't Todd Bowley's first London interest. He actually studied here at the London School of Economics, where he fell in love with the city. So what can Chelsea supporters expect with their new owner? We asked the host of the UK baseball fan podcast, Dodging Sleep. I think if Todd Bowley follows through on the work done with the Dodgers in terms of the way he sets things up, uh, I think Chelsea fans will see a much improved match day experience, although it might be a little more expensive. And I think they'll see real improvements on the pitch as well. How tough was it operating under sanctions? Very tough, not knowing what was happening, not knowing what was going on. And um, coming into games where it wasn't the same atmosphere. But um, I'm looking ahead. Uh, I'm looking at the future for Chelsea Football Club. It's got to be great. The football season is now over, but at Chelsea... A new era is just beginning. Brett Martel, TV News.